hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter minutes to my channel so for today's video we're going to be talking about what i have learned throughout vlogmas while doing vlogmas and all that jazz but if you're new to the channel you already know don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it's free don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video as you guys know today is vlogmas day 25 which is christmas day so merry christmas to you and your family i'm sending you guys positive vibes you know our savior is born you know we are grateful we are blessed today so yeah merry christmas to you and your family and yeah you guys let's get started so the very first thing i want to tell anybody that's wanting to do vlogmas in the future is please have a plan okay make sure you have planned your videos or at least brainstorm something because it is not easy i know youtubers make it look so easy but trust and believe having to film and post on a daily it is not easy so if you have a plan you can definitely follow that plan you know what i'm saying like let's say you have planned for the first 10 days of vlogmas right let's say you already have videos planned you know you can pre-record that and post it some people do not like pre-recording vlogmas videos but i definitely recommend please at least pre-record two or three videos so vlogmas day one two and three you're all set so you can start you know filming and not have to always film because we got to we got to be honest right it's not every single day that you want to be on camera it's not easy to get up and film on a daily sometimes you don't feel like being on camera sometimes you're in the mood and all that jazz same thing with editing it's not every day that you feel like editing sometimes it's just annoying like you don't want to edit you don't want to do anything but the whole time if you have already pre-recorded videos and pre-edited videos you can just make it go live you know one of my hauls to our vlogmas was was a pre-recorded video it was a pre-recorded vlog. All I just did was put it live and boom, you guys had a video that day because I did not feel like filming that day. I did not feel like editing that day. So I was like, yeah, thank God I have pre-recorded a video. So yeah, the first thing is definitely have a plan. Second thing, think about pre-recording, which is what we just mentioned. So second thing is definitely think about pre-recording, right? It's one thing to just have a plan written down, but please pre-record and pre-edit, okay? Pre-record and pre-edit. At least two to three videos so the days that you don't feel like filming or um, editing you can just let them go live like I mentioned you guys saw how my first point and my second point actually coincide it goes together so yeah number one make a plan number two make sure you pre-record and pre-edit some videos so they're ready to be uploaded okay so now the third thing I want to mention to anybody that's willing to do vlogmas and that I have learned myself and in the future when I do vlogmas I'll make sure I implement this and it is making sure that you have thought this through okay wait here's why okay because vlogmas even though doing vlogmas youtubers right make more money but in a way it can also hurt your channel okay let me tell you all right of course, you're getting more money because, you know, it's the holidays. Advertisers are paying more. If you don't know, yes, yeah, it's the holidays. Advertisers are paying more throughout, you know, the month of December and end of November. You know, November, December are normally good months. And January, not so much, but more November and December are really good months when it comes to, you know, advertisement, putting money towards the ads, right? So, of course, you're making more money during Vlogmas because it's in December. And December advertisement advertisers have a certain amount of money set for the ads that they have to use. You know, they have to use all that money. So, you're posting more, you're posting on a daily, which means more people are watching, you're getting more views than you just posting two or three times a day, right? You might get a couple subscribers here and there, but, you know, you're getting more views than, you know, usual, of course. But you got to think about it like this once again. You are posting on a regular. It's messing up with your algorithm because the amount of view you will get on the first Vlogmas Day 1 video it may not be the same thing you get on Vlogmas Day 10 video or Vlogmas Day 5 video. So it's like it can really hurt your channel. I watched, um, I don't know if you guys watched, her name is Catherine Manning. She also talked about that as well. That's why she started Vlogmas and ended it. So... Yeah, really think it through, okay? Think it, is it worth it? Like, me, I did not mind because you guys know my channel is a small channel. We are still at 5,700 and something here. So, it's like, you know, I can take that risk, you know? As for me, doing Vlogmas helped and didn't help my channel, 
okay so for me it helped because i was able to post different things some days i would just sit down i would do vlogs i would do different things so it also helped me i also posted one haul throughout this whole vlog my season so it also helped me see the type of videos that you guys would like to see on my channel right the down part about me doing vlogmas this year was the fact that i lost subscribers yes i gained some but i also lost some so it was not just me gaining 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 no i also lost a couple subscribers to our vlogmas which i'm thinking it may be because you know they were confused as to why is she just posting any and everything which i understand but y'all gotta understand that it is not easy to vlog every single day okay my life is not a park of attraction so i don't always have fun going on in my life some days i don't have much going on and i cannot vlog nothing of course you know so i'm sure some people are like she's just posting everything maybe someone subscribed because they wanted to see more uh haul videos then next you know i'm posting more vlog videos then next you know i'm posting more um sit down videos so it was like up and down another positive thing that happened with doing vlogmas was my revenue of course i made more money but that was also because i was posting on the daily which means i was getting views more than i would usually get you know what i'm saying which was normal so yeah higher revenue because of the views of course more views more money so yeah that went hand in hand so in conclusion as a small youtuber i feel like vlogmas was a good and a bad thing like i said because i was providing quantity instead of quality and i'm always for quality okay i'm not for the quantity i care more about the quality than the quantity so it's up to you i think small youtubers definitely should try vlogmas it's also going to allow you to you know tap into different niches and know where your audience is gearing more towards you know what i'm saying especially if you do not have a specific niche all right you guys so those are all the things i've learned through our vlogmas 2021 and i hope you guys learned something from this if you experience anything near what i experienced or similar to what i experienced definitely comment down below let's chat in the comment section if you are you know thinking about doing vlogmas next year or the year after also let me know down below if you have anything to add as to what you have learned while doing vlogmas definitely also comment down below so we can chat you know and talk about it maybe there's something i forgot definitely comment down below what your thoughts are i hope you guys enjoy me doing vlogmas this year and yeah you guys thank you so much for watching if you are new once again hit the subscribe button down below it is free don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and i'll catch you guys on my next one bye guys merry christmas